a building that houses the labs and offices of environmental scientists, you would expect to find a few plants. But how about this? A whole roof made of plants. This living roof sits atop the city of Tacoma's most environmentally sustainable building, the Center for Urban Waters, located on the Theophos Waterway. The purpose of it is to have natural insulation that will reduce heating costs and cooling costs for the building. It also captures uh, about 35% of the rainwater that lands on the surface. That goes into two large tanks we have down below that are about 35,000 gallons a piece. That water then feeds our toilets and we save about 400,000 gallons a year by doing that. Built in 2010, this LEED Platinum certified building is specially designed to reduce its energy signature. The original green roof utilized a fairly complex pattern of growth, laid out to be aesthetically pleasing with more than 10 species of native plants. What we found is the grasses tend to dominate, and we also found that invasive plants such as clover come in with the birds and that sort of thing. And after a while, you lose the pattern and the invasive plants take over, things die back, so we ended up in a situation where our maintenance costs are getting higher and higher and higher, and we really couldn't maintain it properly. In the five years since the building was completed, industry standards moved towards utilizing low maintenance sedum plants. The reduced maintenance cost should over time more than offset the reinstallation cost. The sedums themselves are a succulent plant, so once they're established, they don't need much water. And also, if you break off a piece, it'll reseed on its own. You already have a mature growth which helps prevent weed growth. The mature sedum plants are grown on coconut fiber tiles. Similar to laying down carpet tiles, the installation is quick and efficient, though the elevated planting location offered some challenges. They had a lot of heavy materials they had to lift up 60 feet. There were a lot of things that had to come up here. Uh, the sedum tile, of course, the soil media that had to be removed uh, had to go down and that was in bags that weighed 5,000 pounds each. So they had a lot of things to contend with. The dense coverage of the sedum plants helps reduce the ability of invasive weeds to become established. Rainwater captured by the roof can be stored for later use during periods when the sedum may require watering. It will get taller and that's one of the things that we're actually talking about now is how we keep it at a lower level and look at mulching it back into the roof. And mowing was one of the thought processes that we're going through now to figure out what we're gonna do with it. This unique living roof, with its beautiful vantage point, attracts a fair number of visitors. The birds love this building, but it causes a lot of havoc, especially in the mating season. They will pick, pull, and take them, especially after we replanted it, they were pulling full tiles out. If they get a nest built, we do not move anything. We try to make sure that they don't nest by just monitoring and making sure that there isn't debris up here. Somehow they seem to find things and get them in overnight. Wingless visitors are also invited to tour the Center for Urban Waters and see the green roof up close and learn more about the function of the building. I provide tours to folks. All they have to do is call up and ask for a tour and sign up and provide a date. And then I give them a tour and tell them all about the entire building, the lead aspects of it, starting from the parking lot and where the wells are all the way to the roof. With proper maintenance to keep weeds out, correct watering and feeding in green roof should last indefinitely, offering long-time function and attractive greenery in an urban environment.